There's only one way to celebrate the historic win of the Tour de France with a Welsh cake, of course. Well, that is what Geraint Thomas did. He enjoyed a well-deserved sweet treat with his wife in the early hours and posted the picture on social media, although I suspect he might have and been celebrating And a big round of applause as Geraint before. joins us now live from his hotel in central London. Hello. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Thank you. So. Thanks. <laughs> has it sunk in? Not at all. No, it's just been a whirlwind since uh, since finishing, really. Well, since Saturday night after the time trial, and um, just an incredible feeling, an amazing three weeks. I had vid video messages off like uh, Dan Carter, Thierry Henry, um, uh, Jamie Carragher. Uh, just like it's just been insane and yeah, um, incredible, but amazing, amazing. Tell you, well, how amazing was it to put on that yellow? shirt for the first time the first time you do that when you put it on do you think this ain't coming off again what yeah it wasn't expected really um well from the outside i knew i was i was going well and could beat anyone on my day but it was kind of to do it over three weeks consistently um that was like the big question mark because i'd never even attempted it before but um okay. yeah it couldn't have gone better and a lot of people around you, of course, willing you on and supporting you. No more so, I'm sure, than the misses. I've had, uh, I've had a lot of crashes and, you know, hiccups in my career. So, uh, and she's always been there, supportive and, uh, you know, helping me get through those hard times. And, uh, you know, days like, or months like the one just gone is, uh, makes it all worthwhile in the end. And, um, yeah. Yeah, she's but it's special. not the end. I suppose it's only the beginning now, and, and and winning gives you another dilemma in terms of Team Sky between you and Chris Froome. Uh, is it like Formula One that they have to decide who's the the lead driver is? Uh, in a way, I guess. Um, like going into the tour, obviously Froome was the the lead rider. I was the backup guy, um, which kind of means the team are working for him, and I just sort of feed off the back of that almost. Um, but I didn't have to do anything as such for him um, until at least the race sort of worked itself out. And fortunately, I had good enough legs to take the jersey and, and stay strong all the way through. But um, yeah, next year will be interesting. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, just going to enjoy this, uh, this win right. for now, though. Quite right. A lot has been made of your partying and celebrating, including at five in the morning having a Welsh cake. I'm not sure what had happened up to five in the morning. Maybe you could tell us about that. But I don't think anyone begrudges you because there must have been so many cold, wet November mornings when you were up at 5 a.m. to train. Yeah, uh, not quite five, maybe six. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, like I say, yeah, you put in so much hard work, like from November, pretty much. It's still... Because I haven't been back to Cardiff yet, it's, I still don't really know the extent of it. But um, hopefully, be back next week and uh, can really sort of uh, soak it up, see my friends and family, obviously, and uh, yeah, celebrate. Well, enjoy every minute of it. Absolutely, so proud of you, Garant. Thank you very much Cheers. indeed for taking the time speaking to us this morning. Good luck. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. There you Cheers. go. What a hero. I wonder when he goes to Cardiff, does he cycle or does he get the train or <laughs> what happens He might there? be able to have one of those fold-up bikes you put mm -hmm. on the train.